about in the lobby versus being ready to perform, two different worlds. And in any audition, you're always gonna come in, there's gonna be a front scene, then there's gonna be the back scene. So make sure that you spend every ounce of time getting it in your brain, making sure that you're going over it so that when you come up here, you don't have to look like you are having a lack of confidence. The biggest thing right now is to just not be nervous, okay? So if you mess up, that's fine. If you fail, that's fine. Uh, please give us your name. Nathan. Nathan, what is your favorite color and why? Uh, blue, um, no particular reason other than I like it's the nature of it. <laughs> no particular reason but blue. So nice. Okay, so when we are giving questions like that, it's not because we care about the answer, we just wanna see your personality. So, Give us a little bit about this blue thing. Right now, shake it off, take a deep breath, and going like this, hiding your hands under the paper is not gonna help you, or your hands behind your back. All right. So the first thing is just you being okay with being naked, how you are right now. You're in a new situation, seems uncomfortable. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a character here, I'm just. No, right here, this is just you. So there's always, there's two stages to it, especially if we're dealing in the commercial world. We have to know who the person is that we're gonna actually hire to do a job. Nobody wants to work with a weirdo. It's not gonna happen. So that's why they have slates. That's why they do personality tests. All of that is because they wanna know who are you besides your character. The next thing is what is your craft? What are you bringing to the role? So the first thing, we're not gonna do this. So I want you to just be okay as a human being, being in an uncomfortable position, doesn't matter. When I ask you to slate, you're gonna look directly into the camera. If there's a camera there, it's being captured and it's going to be given to somebody else who's gonna make the decision. So even though we have a room full of people, you're gonna use a fourth wall. Fourth wall is to block them out. They cannot help you here. They can only hurt you. Okay. Your friend is this camera. <laughs> yep. <laughs> here you go. Hi, who are, and you see that smile? <laughs> there you go. Don't don't try to hold it. Don't try. See the camera captures everything. So even if you're trying to hold back a smile, it's gonna see your lips like quiver. So the best thing is to just embrace it. All right. Okay? Yep. Especially if you have a good smile, it becomes a shield. Because if you're smiling, then no one's paying attention if your heart's beating fast. Make sense? So don't ever go away from the brightness of the character who you are. All right. Let that show. Hi, who are you? Hi, I'm Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, what is your favorite color? Blue. Um, yeah, blue since uh, ever since my, you know, being a child, but blue was my favorite color. I can't exactly say why. I'm a Dodgers fan, so maybe just, uh, you know, subconsciously related to that. Yeah. You're looking at me sometimes, sometimes on camera. camera. Remember, to the camera. Camera and specifically. We're not, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna harp on this too long. I just wanna get some major points across to you. And one of those is, there is no maybes. You know, maybe when I was young, no, no. Yeah. When I was younger, actually, the reason why I love blue is because when I was a little kid, I used to go to the Dodgers game. But you didn't just go to the Dodgers game with any Dodger, right? Did you go with your dad? Well, let's say you don't have a dad, but nobody cares, nobody knows. Right. So. I used to go to the Dodgers game with my dad. And blah, 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 smile. Oh, wow, we like that guy. That's the whole point, okay? Now, I just wanna see what's your, what's your first take on this? 
and how do you think possibly you would perform this in a code read situation? This, this thing. This. Here. So if you're ever going to move forward in acting, okay, you do not have a theatrical reel. You are 90% of the time, if you're going to get signed by a top signatory talent agency, are going to have to do a read. And even to this day, places like Daniel Hall, DDO will give you cold reads. And you'll have like a day to prep it. And then you're going to have to go perform it. But either way, it's going to be you with stuff like this. And the reason why is because if I'm an agent, all right, and I give you this, and you say, I don't know what to do with it. So if you don't know what to do with it, I probably can't throw you in the game. Right. Make sense? So the reason why there's no information here is because they're able to see, oh, you've never taken a commercial workshop. Oh, you've never done a co-reading class. You, you don't know how to get to use your imagination or to create a character or an environment or who you're talking to or understand beats. But that's the whole thing. That's how they examine who you are. But now you're going to know. 